Livestock shows have a long history in Nebraska, but not ones like this. For this segment of Guide to the Good Life, NTV's Brian Ganuzzi takes us to an alpaca costume competition. See, one person gets to do the cleaning, the other keeps to keep the animals in. It's a group project to come to alpaca shows. The Curtis family drove from Illinois to be here in Grand Island for the competition. Mm -hmm. Well, we decided we really liked alpacas and we've had them for about five years now. The show bug caught us, so we've started breeding our own and the animals really like children a lot better than adults. So in terms of halter training and getting them a little friendlier, it works better to have the kids starting with them. This is the first time they've been part of a costume contest. Daughter Sarah chose Serenity from their small herd. One, because she's one of my favorites. Two, because she's a perfect size for it. And what is a perfect size to get dressed up? One, when they, they only come up to here on you, instead of like coming up to here or this tiny. As you can see, the handler also gets dressed up for these events. They created a hippie look. Learned how to make granny squares, put together an afghan for both Sarah and Serenity. She tie-dyed a blanket that we then cut up and made into a costume. It's just something that kind of sets our competition apart from some of the other livestock shows. You don't really see cows dressing up in costumes and getting paraded around the ring. You're putting socks on an alpaca. Yep. The whole point of the costume contest is to be as annoying as possible and your alpaca can handle it, so... Socks is about as annoying as it comes. Kenna Rose traveled from Lakeside, Nebraska for the competition. She and Max have done a number of costume contests, plus, like others, they compete in many other events. We've already wore through one pair of socks practicing. The theme for this duo was Princess Kenna and her unicorn, Max. And then this will go on his head. They're judging how calm the alpaca is based on how annoying the costume is. So he's got stuff going on over his face, he's got socks on his feet, he's got a long ta streamer tail behind him, and it's all super annoying, but he's super calm and that's what matters. Unlike many other events, there really isn't a perfect way to compete. The competition had all sorts of different entry themes, from How to Train Your Dragon to Avatar, Beauty and the Beast, and more. They're entering into the arena. Yeah, the costumes were gorgeous. We love all the headpieces. Um, we even had an alpaca carrying a little wagon behind him. Um, it's just really impressive to see how well mannered that these animals are with all of this fabric and all kinds of things on top of them, especially around their head. They don't like to be touched around the head yeah, usually. And I used a sheet to make his body, bought wings and a horn and glued more stuff onto the horn to make it even more annoying and just got really creative. They also write like a little story to go with um, the costume and that really adds some depth to it. Kenna and Max placed second in the adult division and despite very little practice, the hippie pair, Serenity and Sarah, did very well in the ring and received a blue ribbon. The costume has been on the animal twice. Both times needed alterations afterwards, but we finished it up this past weekend. It's just a chance for the kids to get into the show ring without all that pressure of having to have the perfect confirmation and the perfect fleece. They're just out there with their animal. With competitions like this, it's not always who wins or loses. It's about having fun with your animal. Reporting in Grand Island, I'm Brian Ganuzzi. Brian, thanks. The costume competition was just one of many events last weekend at the Alpaca Owners Association National Alpaca Show. For more details, you can head to this story at Nebraska.tv.